Morning. Uh, Brian, Brian, it seems simple enough. I mean, she's called this forum, they've put this forum together. Um, what's the problem and is there a solution? Um, there is not a straightforward solution. And I think one, if one looks at it from the start, Andrew Rebbe is quite right. She has to continue to apply pressure on global companies who otherwise would not move as quickly as she would like to do. But then let's recognize these are global companies. And quite rightly, the Home Secretary of the UK wants anything, wants to be able to do anything to stop terrorist attacks happening in the UK. The view of terrorism in London is different from the view of terrorism in Riyadh, which is different from the view of terrorism in Beijing, which is different from the view of terrorism global. And remember, these are global companies. Yeah. And therein lies the challenge. It's not that nothing can be done. More can always be done. Mm. But it's making sure that government and industry work together to start addressing well, my these friend, problems. More would be done. It doesn't matter where they're operating from or what their view is. But if you make it more difficult for them to do yes. business in the UK, they will find a way to solve this. Indeed they will, and they will continue to find a way to solve that. And I think in the end the solution will probably not be quite what the Home Secretary wants, and it certainly won't be quite what the, the global giants want. And in the end it will be somewhere in between the two in a way which actually reflects the modern society we're living in, which makes it far more challenging to combat terrorism and still make information available globally. And those are the difficult balances that everybody has to strike. I mean, what do you think she in practice is likely to be able to achieve because presumably the companies themselves unless they have to take action unless they're forced to do something it's not really in their interest to do it is it well it is in their interest to do it because I think once again it's not a straightforward solution a combination of unified government approach a combination of the threat of increasing risks of large fines um, and and restrict and the uh, and, and slightly more restricted freedom of operation will always cause companies to keep Keep adjusting, keep adapting, and as I say, it won't move quickly because there are far too many issues yeah. at play, but, but Brian, it will continue Brian, to move haven't forward. haven't they created, isn't the truth they've actually created technology that's too good? Because if, if you look at something like WhatsApp, now just, just you know, look at my pen here, basically as I understand it, you send a message there at that end and it's received that end, but this green bit in between, no one can see what goes on, no one can read or penetrate the green bit. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely true. That's the, probably one of the best explanations yeah. I've ever seen of end-to-end -end -end encryption. Thank you very much. <laughs> indeed. Thank you. Um, but you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. But also bear in mind, one when looks at your green pen, yeah. that is exactly the same technology that banks use to make sure that all our internet transactions remain safe. So actually, we want it. Mm. Well, well, we exactly. And herein mm -hmm. lies the dilemma. Do we want absolutely secure communications to make, for example, Britain the safest place in the world to do business, or do we want the ability to be able to exploit those in order to be able to counter national security so with threats. Your, with your expertise then, what, what is the answer to that? Well, I think the answer is a number of things. So first of all, one takes your green pen. The integrity of that data as it goes from, from end to end is important to preserve the in the uh, cybersecurity of the nation itself. There are always different ways without compromising end-to-end -end, um, encryption at which, at which exploitation can be done under the right circumstances in the right kind of way. It's not easy and it's not straightforward. Um, but, we, and, but as technology develops, and you're quite right, technology yeah. has advanced at a huge pace. And as technology develops, as communication technology develops, the kind of relationship that needs to be built between governments and the private sector to providers will continue to evolve where that balance of privacy mm -hmm. and security yeah. will start to be, get more into it. Presumably it's trying to keep that one step ahead as well because mm -hmm. as soon as we then say right we've got the capability to look at all of this then extremist terrorists people who don't want information to be found out will be looking at the latest way looking to at get it do you know who YouTube employ to look at and monitor what goes on there volunteers why would anybody wake up in the morning and say uh, you can see you can be a volunteer for a charity, but why would you want to be? I'd be a volunteer for YouTube. I'll go but and be there. They're doing a good thing to take down extremist why, videos. Why would you they? want to be a volunteer for YouTube? Because if they haven't, if they haven't got the people in place to do well, it, somebody well, needs it. to what do it. What sort of they? people are you hiring? That says it all to me. That must be a security risk. What Is sort of looper wakes risk? up in the morning and wants to volunteer for YouTube? Well, I, I think the, the fight, the fight between, but the fight between uh, terrorism and criminals and the state, mm -hmm. and one trying to keep ahead of the other, is has been 
the problem for centuries. You're never going to completely stop um, bad things happening, whether it's on the internet or in the real world. All you simply do is make it far more difficult for bad people to be able to op op operate with So he's with, part of that, freedom. though, getting as many people as you can just to get these extremist videos down as quickly as possible. That, Volunteers. Whoever they are. Volunteers. That, um, but Welcome once, the help from wherever it comes but from. But once again, yes, if you have a, bring a whole load of people to say, here's something bad, you have to have a set of criteria about what yeah. is bad because mm. what is one person's mm. control is another person's censorship. Yeah. And once again, that is a balance that has to be has to be. Would spread. you have had volunteers at GCHQ? No, we've Enough course. said. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Two good analogies and explanation, and that's why I should be a presenter on Tomorrow's World <laughs> or addressing that Do you actually know what that's called, Silicon though? Valley. It's a pen. No, what not do you think the it's pen. Called? What? End-to-end -end encryption. A tube. That's where YouTube comes from, because a tube in the middle. Well, the info goes, Very good. We'll ship right. you off to tomorrow's world before you know it.